Yo, what's going on everybody? HC Gaming Pro back at it again with another video. And before we get right into the video, uh, I just want to say a few things. First of all, enjoy the gameplay I put in the background. Second thing, click in the description below for iTunes gift cards that you can purchase from Amazon.com. Helps me out in the future and you guys can get some iTunes gift cards. So I can hook you all up with that. Uh, third thing that I have to say, I'm not a fanboy. I just really respect RDC World 1 as a whole and their grind and everything. And yeah, anyways, guys, let's get right into the video. Yo, what's going on, everybody? AC Gaming Pro, and so I just wanted to talk about RDC World 1 and why I respect these guys so much. And this is what I'm about to say is really meant for people that, you know, don't fuck with anime and they, you know, have like a stereotype that people that watch anime, you know, that they're just like weird and shit, but that's not always the case. So, you know, RDC World 1, they really changed the image of people who really watch anime. And I know there's people out there that, you know, watch anime, they play basketball, they play sports, they do all this, but people don't talk about it openly, like, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, like, you know, anime is cool it's fun to watch it's pretty much like watching a cartoon you know like a really fun thing to watch but people just see it more as like oh you're childish but you know there's still adults that play video games and that's not childish well it kind of is but it's more for enjoyment and people they kind of just stereotype that as it's not but rdc world one they anime niggas and they part of it and they don't really give two fucks if you care or not you know and that's why I like, I, I F with them so hard. So I'm trying not to curse too much, cause, you, know, you know, YouTube and stuff. But, you know, they show that you can be a, a real dude and, you know, you can still, you know, mess with anime and all that. You know, they mess with video games and, and they sports and all that. Cause you know, they watch, they, they stay up with like NBA. They watch all that stuff. They have a bunch of skits, like how LeBron was like after the game three and all that and how the Warriors were like after game three and all that uh, of last year's NBA finals they have a bunch of videos on that stuff and and how like LeBron acted when Kyrie left like all those videos those are like they just show like a broad spectrum of all the stuff that they really fuck with and that's cool to me and that's why I really respect them and also like they show that if you like anime you're not like the typical nerdy dude, skinny, fragile. Like if you see like their story times and stuff, you know, they like at least the main dude, dang, I, I forgot his name, my bad, yo, but um, you know, he, he came up from the hood, you know? And that's like most people from that watch anime, you know, grew up with Dragon Ball and all stuff. That was most people's childhood. At least that was my childhood. That was most people's childhood. And you know, that's what kind of took away from when we were living in bad areas. You know, I'm not gonna lie. We lived in a mildish bad area. I won't say it was the worst place ever, but it wasn't the best place ever as well. And I liked anime at the time. You know, I was just a basic anime person. I liked Dragon Ball and that's it. You know, my brother liked uh, Naruto at the time when he was living with us, but eventually he moved out. <sighs> you know, they just, you know, they, they show that you can still be a big dick daddy motherfucker that still fucks with anime, still fucks with sports, and you just mess with all this different stuff. You can still wear Jordans and still like Dragon Ball. You can still, you know, dress up nice. You can still have a baddie. You can do all this stuff in like anime. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all already know this, but I'm just tired of people stereotyping anime with people that can't do stuff. You know, like all my friends, they know that I fucks with Dragon Ball. You know that I do all that stuff and I you know I still go out hooping with them and you know I still like if a person comes up to me and I don't know wants to start probably you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw down hands you know what I'm saying but I don't know that's just my perspective you know from the anime and that's why I respect RDC World 1 so much because they show you can be a real dude a real man and still like anime still like video games and really my point across this message is RDC World 1 or not, sharing this, if you like anime, if you like video games, if you like anything, man, just do it. And just don't give a fuck about what people think, man. 
Like, if you like video games, if you like Minecraft, and you wanna play football, whatever, man. If you like Roblox, and you still, you know, fucking around and playing and hooping, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, dude. Nobody's, well, people are gonna judge you, obviously. There's always somebody who's gonna judge you, but just don't care, man, and just keep on going. That's pretty much what I, all I gotta say, and that's why I fuss with RDC World 1 so much. So shout out to RDC World 1. Keep on grinding, bro. I respect your content a lot. And, you know, hopefully one day I can be as successful as you guys. And uh, peace out.